Hi, I'm Neil Bucker, and welcome to my guide on removing the digitizer glass from an iPad 2 stroke 3. Um, messy job, but well worth the hassle. This iPad is uh, what we do with a lot of experimentation with getting these off the best way you can. This iPad's already been in an oven, um, in our temperature controlled ovens for approximately 35 to 40 minutes, um, temperature around about, about 60 degrees. Um, but uh, We've, we've done a lot of experimentation and to be honest it's not so much about the temperature it's more about the heat soak um, otherwise you can you can heat it up with a heat gun all day long but the heat then soaks away by the time you get any tools on it anyway so here we go so we used a quite a heavy suction cup on the left hand side as you look at the iPad uh, and we go down the middle we enter in the middle a because that's the easiest place to get hold of sort of pull it and find it that's the weakest bit but also there's the less the less uh, cables internally to damage so what we do is the suction cup, as you see all there, we pull it up and it gives a little bit of a, an entry in and we use the isosomo, the flat tool, to go between the plastic and the glass just to give us a little bit of point of entry. Then we use this uh, the, the plastic sort of sacrificial tool, they do break rather than your device, and we slide that all the way around. And what we do, as you'll see, I try and, it's, it's a fiddly job, I'm trying to do it on camera as well, really fiddly, you need four hands, um, and it's that, as you see there, the tool is going between the glass, but I'm leaving it against the metal casing and not the plastic surround that goes around the glass. Because if you start digging into that plastic surround, it's not going to do it any good, but it looks rubbish. So if you see that, that red tool, that orangey coloured tool, is actually levering between the glass and the metal casing and not the plastic. I'm doing very, my very best to make sure that I don't run it along that plastic edge because you take the, the tip off it, the actual plastic edge, it looks, you put a new screen on and it looks rubbish. Uh, and you know, it's all about aesthetics. So as we go down here, I'm also going very carefully, you've done this side now, where my fingers on my left hand are, there's a lot of internal cables. Now the downside is that when you start getting to the broken bits on the glass, there you go, it breaks, it's difficult. You're always, you're, you're plying against the screen, giving just enough pressure to bring, get away from the metal casing without breaking it. Some do, some don't. Um, if they've already got a break in it, obviously it doesn't take much to, to do that. So now you're working with a sort of half shattered screen, but I'm doing my best not to actually put my fingers in underneath the screen because if you start rubbing the glass shards around the LCD, the LCD is going to scratch. So always, always being ultra careful. Just using that plastic tool and the ice SMO just to gain entrance, getting a little bit of play in there, a little bit of gap, and then running that tool, the, the red tool down there. And again, like I said, it's, it's all about the heat. And it's all about the heat soak. Um, we found that heat guns, although most people use them, they're, they're just really not great. They're okay, but you just have to make sure that the whole thing is warm. Um, otherwise, by the time you've heated it up, the heat actually dissipates through the glass and doesn't get to the adhesive. And that's what you want to heat up. The adhesive becomes tacky, and then it's easier to split everything away from each other. Now, as we work down here, I'm about to enter in. There's a Wi-Fi cable in here that is easy to break. So I get just enough purchase in there. And I'm, what I'm doing with that spudger is I'm just... Because what happens is the, the Wi-Fi cable sticks to the screen. And as you pull the screen from the assembly, the Wi-Fi cable snaps. And um, so what I'm doing is I pulled it up enough just to see it. There's a little bit of play in the Wi-Fi cable. And I'm using that spudger just to, to take it off the glass and keep it stuck to the iPad. And there you go. I've worked all my way around now to the point where it's come away from the screen. Always making sure I don't touch the LCD under there because if there's shards of glass everywhere like you can see on the desk, bits of glass, you don't want to be rubbing that into the LCD because you just scratch it. So trying to keep everything separate, clean the desk a little bit. You can see there's shards of glass everywhere. And uh, what I like to do is always make sure it's nice and clean. And I'll use this little hoover just to make sure. Because obviously if you've got little shards of glass there, you'll put the iPad down to do the rest of the job. And what's happened is the glass on the back it's just going to scratch against the back of the iPad. So we get it back, we unwind it, and you see there, right in the middle of the screen, is the connector for the digitizer. And where I put my finger there, that's the Wi Fi can antenna button down there. So, what I'm going to do now is now I've got that off. What you can do, I mean, we, you can cut through the digitizer cable, or uh, in this practice, what we're going to do is, is try and dismantle it so we keep the cable intact. We use this tiny little smelt scraper. All these tools are available on appleipodparts.com. The ISSMO is brilliant, Phillips screwdriver, the little metal uh, metal sort of scraper spudgers and the plastic spudger 
And what I'm trying to do then is, I know there's no cables to damage into this, so I'm just gently applying it with glass, but again, the warmer the better. Um, you know, you could even put this back in the oven at a lower temp for 10 minutes just to free up that adhesive again. And another thing is, obviously, as, as you warm it up gently, the adhesive stays with the glass and not necessarily the iPad, so it comes away quite clean. Because last, we always make sure that when we're doing these, is there's absolutely no glass left in the iPad under the screen or anything, because you put a new screen on it, there's nothing worse than a little bit of glass coming back round, getting between your screen and your glass and, and you know, rubbing away. It just looks rubbish. Um, you know, we spend an awful long time making sure that everything is clean. As you go round the screen as well, again, it's that plastic surrounding, you say, all the way around the iPad there, just making sure that that's not got any dig marks in it. So removing the LCD, there's, it's dead easy to do. There's four screws um, with the sort of Phillips heads on, and they're in the corner of the LCDs. So a little bit manipulating, and they come out with no problem at all. They're all the same length, so you haven't got to worry about where they go when they go back, just that the, the fourth, the LCD, um, they go in with that. Once you've got those out, you get the top corner. The, there you go, where my finger is. You can just add, get in there and just get under the screen and gently pull it out. If there's any resistance, then it's going to be stuck. You need to give it a bit of a wiggle. You don't want to damage the screen. Give that a bit of a shake just to get rid of a little bit of the glass shards that are on that. And then what you're left with below is the gold clip for the LCD with a, a little bar that goes all the way around. And you see there with the tweezers, just lift the bar and then pull the bar out. Just It just helps you pull the connector out. And then we'll just shake the LCD, get rid of the glass. We do that just so that you can, because it's got a cable on it, you can move it just to one side, but we prefer to move it out of the way. Now we're onto the digitizer connector, and that's the bottom left. And you've got two traditional style clasps there. And then you use a flat saw to enter into there, and it's got two little blo uh, yeah, the glass on the back. And you're going to gently flick each one up. Use a flat saw to get along the whole surface, so you don't ping them off. They're really fragile. The cable's stuck down. So I gently lift the cable with the adhesive. But what I do with my finger is I press my finger just above the connectors, just there. I'll, I'll leave that there so you can peel the cable off without wrenching them out of the connections. Once you peel it off, then it'll come out. You don't want to wrench those connectors off the board. Well, that's it. Game over. What we need to salvage from the old screen um, is this camera bracket there and the home button and the home button bracket there. It's essential. We need those for the rebuild. Uh, I put the screen back in the oven, sort of 10, 15 minutes at... Uh, sort of 50, 60 degrees, just to loosen those up. They're only held in by adhesive and they'll lift up and uh, we replace the adhesive on those as well. Just gently tapping and shaking the iPad. Now there's no sort of screens attached to it, just to get rid of the, gl uh, the glass. We'll also use our mini hoover and an airline on there just to make sure that every single bit has gone and all of the old adhesive as well. Um, there's no good having uh, old adhesive on there because it won't stick down properly. So I'm Neil Barker, thanks for watching my stripped down guide of the iPad 2 stroke 3 digitizer screen. Uh, you can get all the parts and all of the tools and all the accessories and all the help from appleipodparts.com. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll have a full rebuild guide um, coming to YouTube soon, so check out our channel and look out for that. Thank you.